Hello everyone, it's Sysical and I'm back yet again, this time playing Horizons 3. Brand new pack from FTB. Just came out two days ago, I guess. And uh, I have a book flying to me. <laughs> That's actually the Integrated Dynamics book. And it's uh, how it gets to you. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. It is a 112 pack. And uh, it's going to be cool. It's a fun. It's going to be, uh, I think, a pretty good pack. We're going to try it out and see how it goes. I think it's pretty quirky. It's going to be, it's a quirky selection of mods. Uh, and that's mostly because 112 doesn't have the giant selection of mods that, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, other versions have right now. So it has, uh, like I said, weird ones. Because you don't have Ender IO. I mean, it's not a thing, right? Uh, this pack doesn't even have Tinkers. They chose not to put Tinkers in it, which is interesting, <laughs> to say the least. And uh, we'll see how it works out. Um, but yeah, there's no Vein Miner. I should point that out, too, because I always get to ask that pretty much off the hop. Or, you know, have you tried to use Vein Miner? No, it's not here. There's no R Extractor either. So <laughs> sometimes when I say there's no Vein Miner, I get told, try, try uh, R Extractor. But uh, they're not, it's not in the pack. It's just, it's not a thing. Uh, anyway, a uh, lot of weird mods in here though. So you don't have Ender IO because it's not a 110. So we have Thermal Dynamics and Industrial Forgoing, I think is our main uh, tech mods. Uh, then with Storage, we have Refined Storage. Um, and I'm trying to think what else here. We have XNet, so that's kind of, you know, automation. We also have, uh, integrated dynamics, which is also automation. Uh, we also have the add-on for integrated dynamics, which is, uh, what is it? Uh, integrated tunnels, which I'm actually kind of pumped for because integrated dynamics looks like a really cool mod, like amazing mod, amazing. But I really need someone to create a integrated dynamics for dummies. Because <laughs> every time I go to look at that mod, I get lost. And I'm just like, I get frustrated. And uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing with that mod at all whatsoever. I really wish someone would make just a really dumb down. Just, I need to be shown every step. Because <laughs> uh, I don't know what any of that stuff means. Apparently, if you have a little coding background, it's actually pretty easy. But uh, my amount of coding has ever, I think, mostly ever been uh, making websites. So you're talking, you know, very basic stuff, right? Anyway, it is the thing. Um, we're just going to get some wood here. We're going to do our, you know, normal punch of trees. And then uh, do some looking around. Um we saw, I saw that there is an evil craft with a little structure there and an astral sorcery structure here. Astral sorcery, sorcery. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, 1.12 is actually really cool. It's been, uh, it has a lot more stuff than 110. So I think just, he stopped adding, uh, I think it's Hellfire PVP, I think that's the name. Uh, stop adding things to 110. Same goes for Embers, because Embers is in this pack. And uh, 110 embers is not the same as uh, 112 embers. There's a lot more content. So it's kind of both of them. There's just a lot more stuff to do. So kind of cool. Probably, you know, check that stuff out at some point. Um, there's a lot of weird mod mods in here, though. Like Evilcraft. I've never really touched it. So it is new. I'm coming over here, though, because there's, yeah, sometimes there's a chest. What do we got here? An emerald sword. I'll definitely take that. What's this thing? Inventory crafting table. That sounds good. Invoker fang. Uh, box of external... Eternal closure. And I don't need that. My inventory is going to get packed anyway. So we got some stuff here. So let's try this. What is this? Invoker fang. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was hoping it was a weapon. <laughs> that is fantastic. What mod is that? Invoker... And I found that in a chest. Wow. Uh, what was it? Evoker. There we go. So, it is a pretty late game, too. Wow. Um, that is a... Oh, Cyclic. Cy cy cyclic? I heard that mod is pretty OP. So, <laughs> that'll be fun to play around with. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And what was this thing? Eat to upgrade your inventory. So, let's see that thing. It actually has a food value, which is hilarious. Unlocked inventory crafting? <laughs> Are you serious? 
That's awesome. I wonder if we lose that if we die, though. That's quite possible. Uh, but that is awesome. <laughs> we got some loot already. I do want some of these cows. There we go. And uh, get that stuff. I'm going to have to check, actually. I don't know what backpack mod is in here. I'm assuming that one's going to be in here. I don't even know what's in uh, 112, to be honest. I really haven't touched 112 barely at all. Um, I have to say I'm pumped to try industrial for going. That is going to be pretty cool. I've been looking forward to that because it is, you know, kind of the fan remake of uh, MFR. So, yeah. So, if it's anything like MFR, I'm probably going to like it. So, that's that's a thing, right? Let's do that. Do I, I don't even need that thing right now. Uh, <laughs> I could just go in my inventory. I'm going to head over this way. I, we are going to find a city. That is kind of my goal. Oh, food. These are berry bushes from biomes of plenty. Uh, but I need to find some sheep. And this is a grassy area, and I see sheep here. So I guess we'll do that. Hmm. It was nice to find the sword. I have to say that. There we go. Did we get any other loot? Yeah, I don't even know what this thing is. What's this thing do? What? It attacked me. I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to read about that one. Apparently it's evil craft. Okay. <laughs> it was cool. Oh, that is poison ivy. <laughs> don't step on those. Uh, yeah, because uh, this mod wants you dead. Anyway, we got a whole bunch of cows over here. No sheep. So that's not particularly a good thing. We're just going to deal with some of these cows real quick. Grab some of that leather. And there we go. Because I could either use it well, I'll use it for crafting anyway, but there may be... If there's a backpack mod, it's almost guaranteed that you need leather. There we go. Oh, I already got a lot, actually. Might actually get enough to get a set of armor. That would actually be real cool, actually. Right off the hop, have some leather armor. Because there will be spawners in the Lost City, so it is kind of a thing. I would like to find some sheep, though. That would be definitely a good thing. Um, actually, I'm not going to a city until I get a bed, because like I said, there could be spawners there and stuff. And, uh, that could end very poorly. These berry bushes are actually pretty sweet. I think they're fast-eating food, too. Uh, they don't fill very much, mind you, but, uh, I always like the fast-eating foods. It's really good in 112, too. Well, 112 and 110 with the, uh, quicker regen. Why are there no passives around? I have no luck. I have two white. What's the other one? A brown. I would need two brown or one white sheep. What's that? Oh, everything that I need. <laughs> I asked for <laughs> what I asked for, I got basically. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this guy's glowy. And he's going to drop an item. He's going to drop one of these. An ability totem, I believe? Yes. Uh, what did I get? Fertility? What? Uh, you start off with this, an ability bottle. This is from uh, Everlasting Abilities. It basically lets you give yourself abilities. What's this? Animals in the area become fertile. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that one right now. But apparently we can get speed. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's take speed. And we now have speed. I can now, I can now speed. <laughs> Which is actually really awesome. I'm actually glad I found that one. There we go. Eat some of this food. There we go. Get some of these berries, then now that we can make a bed, I'll head north. Actually, I want to try out my crafting grid. Oh, it lights up the area, too, kind of. That's kind of weird. Boom. Because usually when you enter your normal inventory, yeah, it darks it out. That is actually really cool. I like being able to see. Hmm. But we're going to head north because it looked like there there was a bridge. That bridge was heading north. So I'm guessing... Uh, well, it's not guessing. I know those bridges lead to cities. <laughs> so there's no guessing to it, I guess. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, of course, there's an Ember Guardian. Can you not? There we go. Deal with you. What do we get? Ancient Motive Core. That's new. I have no idea. Oh, that's the book for Embers. So, uh, we actually have everything we need for the book. 
Might as well make that. There we go. Because if you haven't seen this book for 112, it's completely changed. Like, it is actually really cool. Like, wow. It just looks so pretty. And uh, we probably will get to some members because a lot of it has changed. And uh, I haven't got to do it yet. So, that is the thing. Uh, it is getting nighttime, though. So, I did make a bed. Let's use that real quick. There we go. I think I seen another evil craft altar to the left there, so I might check that out before we get to this town. Which is pretty cool. I'm trying to think of all the mods in here. Relicory is in here, so Relicory is one of those mods too. I'm gonna say that. Relicory is fine, dandy, and wonderful. It's not bad. It has some nice, you know, cool little items. Um, but it never changes. It never changes at all. It just seems to be, you know, updated, and that's about it. So, I'm not really pumped to see Relicory most of the time. Not because it's a bad mod, just because it never changes. Um, I personally almost feel the same way about Tinkers. I mean, it's been changed a few times, but the time changes have been nerfs. You know what I mean? It's just <laughs> not a lot. I mean, they did add a couple things. What is that? A portable enter chest? See, this is Silic. Uh, let's see you phase through. Wow. That's powerful. Golden sword. Blood, I think that's for evil craft. And some iron. Wow. So we already have portable inventory. <laughs> Which is pretty awesome, actually. Actually, is, we didn't check backpacks yet. Let's go backpack. What do we got here? So it's called backpacks with an exclamation point. Okay. And it looks like this is the main one. These other ones must be died or something, right? Doesn't really say. That must be an ender. Allows you to restore a lost backpack. That's pretty cool. Huh. Backpack pouch. Increase the capacity of a backpack. Hmm. So that's all it is. Okay. Let's uh let's make one of those. I could do that. I did get the two gold from the astral sorcery uh altar, so that's pretty sweet. Grab that and that. And now we have two inventories. So we can actually hold a lot of stuff right now. Which is actually pretty sweet. There we go. White wool. Let's get rid of most of this stuff. Oh, I'll probably need you. And that should be good. Okay. Let's go here. Let's not go here. Uh, I would like that cobblestone, actually. I should probably grab that, too. Because uh, we don't have a lot of good sources of cobblestone. I really don't know what these things are about yet. Um, it's got something to do with evil craft, obviously. But uh, I don't know the ins and outs. So I guess we'll figure that over time. Uh, we need to get the book first, though. Oh, no, that's the dynamics one. You can find that in chest. Uh, but uh, there's a way of making it, too. So if we don't find it, whatever. Um, I don't know if I already mentioned. Roots 2 is in here, too. So Roots has been totally revamped as well. So... <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the mod, mods, the magic ones anyway, have been completely revamped uh, for 112. So, be kind of cool. Roots doesn't usually take too long to play through, though. So, usually not that big a deal to play it. There we go. Or go through it. Of the tech mods, though. Oh, no. I really don't like quicksand in this pack. Or in any pack, I should say. Are you going to let me up? Are you going to let me up? Is this a span thing? I don't know why they added quicksand. Seriously. Why would they do this to people? <laughs> oh, I would really like out of here. Did I make a shovel? Of course not. Because when do I make shovels? Okay. So apparently I'm going to have to dig for a bit because I don't seem to be able to get out. There might be a trick to get out of this stuff. I don't know what adds this. I don't know if this is a vanilla thing now. Oh, uh, in the distance too. One of those buildings is, isn't is actually a building. That is from Compact Machines. And that's actually really cool. Uh, I really want to play with this mod. I'm going to have to grab a whole bunch of these blocks. Basically, it lets you create little pocket dimensions um, that you can actually automate. You can actually pipe items in and out of them and uh, directly just by connecting to a block that's actually placed in your world. 
Um, and uh, yeah, a little pocket dimension. I don't know if I want to go there. Um, and then you can automate them. So you can basically set up your entire world, your, your entire base in a tiny, tiny little space if you wanted to. So it's kind of neat like that. But uh, we're going to go up here. We're going to go visit this city. See what's going on. See if we can find some loot chest. Because the loot seems pretty OP. <laughs> we already found some pretty good stuff. And I think this is just cutting. Oh, I forgot about this thing. What's this thing? Not doing anything? Oh. What's that? <laughs> is that a weapon? Tell me that's a weapon. Let's see here. It is too. Wow, and it goes through walls. <laughs> that is actually awesome. Definitely want that. So let's grab that. Okay. So we need to pick a building. Let's pick a building here and uh, kind of figure this out. Uh, do we want to go visit Creeper McGee? Or not? Because that's kind of scary. Uh, <laughs> I'm very frightened. I actually want to see if there's any more easy uh, chest first, I guess. Oh, there's an easy chest there. That is pretty sweet. Hopefully we can find some more loot. You can see there's mobs all over the place. There's, you know, spawners all through these buildings. There we go. What did I just get? I just got something. Rod of Elevation. Teleports yourself or the target entity up to the nervous sur near surface above. <laughs> That sounds pretty awesome. It's basically like an elevator. That's what it sounds like, right? Huh. Okay. Not sure where I want to go. Just still looking for some uh, easy buildings, I guess. Really quick. Ooh, there's another easy one. There we go. What did we get here? Charge and launch lightning orbs. Well, that's pretty straightforward and fantastic. I'll take that. This is all cyclic items. <laughs> The loot table for that mod is ridiculous. Because I think this is actually probably pretty expensive, right? Not horribly. I think they do have durability. But uh, we'll try it out. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I'm not going to go down here, but this is actually a... Uh, what do you call them? Uh, subway system. Which is pretty cool. Oh, that's what I've been looking for, too. This, because I really need food. Guess we'll throw that in there, let it smelt, and maybe do some looking around. Pretty cool. I already like the feel of this pack. I mean, I don't know how long the playthrough will be, because I'm still not sure how much content is here. you get going to have to play it for a while, because we don't have a lot of tech mods. Uh, we have Industrial Foregoing, and uh, we have, um, what should call it? Dynamics, there you go, Thermal. Um, so I don't really know how much actual content there is, so it's hard to say how long the playthrough will be. Um, but I'm definitely going to explore quite a few mods, so uh, I'm going to definitely play the ones that, you know, interest me. And, uh, look around at the others. Um, especially anything new. Well, something like Relicory, you probably won't do anything. At best, I might make a gun, just because I like it. But anyway, let's look around here real quick. See what's going on. We do have mobs. And they do have spawners. Probably in here somewhere. That actually startled me. I don't know where he came from. Oh, all these buildings are linked. It's actually really nice I found the sword. That's actually pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. There's definitely a spawner. Ooh, enchantment table. Wow. They're keeping us busy. I'll give them that. Oh, it has to be a stone. Okay. Guess we'll go get our food real quick. There we go. And I guess I could make a stone pick anyway. So let's do that. I should probably have one. Oh, yeah. I inventory crafting table. <laughs> uh, it's going to take a while to get used to that one, I tell you. Let's go here. There we go. Bam. And bam. And I guess we'll make a few sticks. There we go. We don't really need those right now. Do that. There we go. Got ourselves a stone pick. And we should be okay there. 
I should try out these wands. Huh, this one on these guys, actually. No, no mobs here. Let's try going upstairs in this one, actually. And, no, there's no downstairs. Okay, that one's pretty safe. Oof. Don't be on a roof. Anyway. Oh. Let's see what's going on here. This one seems pretty quiet. Okay. Guess we can go right up to the next level. I don't see any chest. Nope. None at all. Okay. That works pretty good. It actually works pretty fast, too. Okay. I don't like how many mobs are spawning on my head, but, uh, especially when I don't have torches or anything. Nope. Okay, they have to be at ground level. That is a problem. Oh, we got another one of these. Can you not do that? There we go. Okay, there's a spider spawner here. <laughs> uh, it is getting nighttime. Let's actually try that wand here of elevation. Maybe go up on the roof. Yeah, that's awesome. That is actually really cool. What's up here? What is this? What's going on? A cup of coffee? That sounds delicious. I'll try that. And that gave me haste too. <laughs> and this is from Silent Gems. So Silent Gems, I don't know if I mentioned, is in the pack. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully I can sleep, though. We might have mobs right beside us. Yeah. Maybe if I try some random corner. There we go. Get ourselves sleep. <laughs> Get ourselves sleep. We'll uh, sleep here and then uh, move on. Uh, I'm not expecting to get much done today. I'm just kind of fooling around, to be honest. Um, just trying to get a feel for the pack. I, I, he, he had a very big sword. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't really want to get hit by it. Uh, let's come out here. There we go. So these buildings aren't so tall. I forgot that I was very fast. Anyway, there's another entire town over there, which is pretty cool. Wow. So much stuff. Uh, I can't remember if I grabbed my food. I should probably grab that before anything. Uh, wand. Yeah, you're not coming for me, are you? There we go. Oh, that's not... Where did I put my food? I put my food in the doorway. One of these, didn't I? I can't remember. Oh, it's on me. There we go. I'm looking for nothing. I might actually go for that one, because that one actually has tall buildings. Which is kind of cool. Even though they're probably a death trap. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going to settle and set up base. I don't think I'm going to set up inside a city. That doesn't sound very interesting, to be honest. Is that another city way over there? No. Maybe? Maybe? There is, too. There's another city. See? They're on rare, and we got three cities in eye shot of each other. Which uh, tells me that they should probably make them a little more rare. <laughs> oh, and look at this. Two more loot uh, loot chests. Let's see what we get. Ha ha. Ha ha. You haven't learned that trick. What did we get? What is that? Haste. You already had haste. And they must be hiding the uh, spawners inside the walls, because uh, I'm not seeing any. So, yeah. <laughs> so they're kind of hidden, so until you get used to where they are, it's probably a pain to find them. When they do stuff like that. Let's see here. Anything else I want in here? Not particularly. Oh, I don't want you, that's for sure. I saw another chest over here that I'd really like, but I really don't want to deal with these guys. <laughs> I don't know if that was worth it all. Anyway, let's, uh, oh, actually, this goes to the wall, I think. So let's go here, right? That's awesome. <laughs> Attack your mobs right through the walls. 
go. What is this thing? Teleport the world spawn. He really wants me to have haste one. But I think there's a way to level them up. I'm just not sure how that works. See, I don't know what these these little uh, box of, you know, insert name here are. Uh, beetroot, pumpkin. Don't really care about that stuff. This is probably the worst room I could probably ever be in, ever. <laughs> okay. Note to self, run away. That has a lot of range on it. Wow. That is insane. Okay. Well. Let's head up this way. Let's see if we can find any more loot. I think we're probably pretty much done in the loot of this building. There we go. Or not. <laughs> Actually, pretty sweet. Oh, another chest. Oh, there's the book for uh, Evilcraft. That's actually really cool that I found that. Because I think that thing's a pain to get. Tamed by feeding a darkened apple to a mob, quickly throwing a book at the resulting anomaly. <laughs> Such an odd mechanic. But uh, pretty cool. There we go. And I guess some bread. There we go. Because I like bread. A true source of evil. Sounds horrific. Haha. -ha. Yeah. You guys are too fat to come in here. Take that. And this. And one of those. And two of those. Oh. Okay. Well. Very interesting. Oh. My first spawner. That I actually seen. We get rid of that. Get rid of that. And I don't know if we have any ways to actually pick up spawners in this pack. Uh, because, uh, yeah, no Ender IO, right? And uh, no mob guarding utilities either, actually. So, not sure. There we go. Did I get him? And another chest, actually. Wow. There we go. Oh. And another skeleton. <laughs> oh, nothing really good in that one. But stuff that I want nonetheless, so let's do that. There we go. Bam. These loot chests are actually pretty crazy, I have to say. The loot table is nutty. Take that, sirs. Or madams. <laughs> pretty sweet. This building was pretty tall, actually. Pretty, 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 pretty tall. Not too bad. But I can just keep going up, apparently, forever. Wow. Okay. Wow, get a good view up here. Got another little micro town apparently right there. Oh, uh, that looks like a micro town. Like, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> the spawns are not rare at all, like I kind of hoped. Uh, but yeah, I think I might end this one here though. I mean, we did a fair amount already. I mean, we got a whole bunch of loot, got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I really need to sit down and kind of figure out where I'm going to go with this pack because I really don't know even know where to start to be honest, but uh, I think it's going to be fun no matter what I do. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to end this here. So, as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. I want you guys all to have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.